Hello community, we have a brand new model, the DeepSeek 3.2 syncing model. And you know, finally, because two months ago we got to hear the experimental, the beta model, and it was downloaded by the community about 64,000 times. But today, today we got to hear the brand new final version, DeepSeek version 3.2, syncing and non-syncing. Plus, yeah, download exactly zero. So I'm really here in the first hours here from this download and you have your complete technical report. You just click here on this link and you have all the details here and DeepSeek AI tells us here everything that they optimized here. They have DeepSeek sparse attention, a scalable reinforcement learning framework and really interesting, a large scale agentic task synthesis pipeline and they describe everything. And the beauty is they compared with GPT-5 and Gemini 3 Pro. So. We have brand new brand current data. So let's have a look at this. Now you see here in the deep blue here, we have deep sea version 3.2 and here the syncing. So this means the reasoning, the test time scaling version. And I will show you both where we test the syncing and the non-syncing model. But please note, because look just at AIM25. So here we have here in dark blue, we have deep sea version 3.2 syncing. Then, the next one here with 94.6 is GPT-5 high. Then we have Claude 4.5 here. There's a dip in the performance to Claude 4.5 Sonnet. And then this is here the benchmark Gemini 3.0 Pro. Now you notice that Gemini 3 Pro has 95% and DeepSeek version 3.2 syncing only 93%. So they designed here a very special deep seek version here that achieved here 96%. So in AIM25, it outperformed Gemini 3 Pro in the current version. So you see, we're here in benchmark optimization territory. And you see this here for all the other benchmark. But in general, you can say, look here, our Gemini 3 Pro, which is such a light color, you can hardly see it from the background here. And it's really outperforming here. Deep Seek version 3.2 syncing. But let's have a look. Because this is here what the marketing department tells us. And of course, we want to validate this. Yeah, if you want to know about the speciality here, well, of course, this model, as DeepSeek tells us, was trained exclusively on reasoning data with a reduced length penalty during the reinforcement learning. So something very special. Let's have a look. If you want to compare my simple test, you know, it's an elevator test. An elevator goes from floor zero to floor 50, and I have specific button presses for specific sequences. Here you have the same test on Opus 4.5, syncing and non-syncing. Here you have the same test for GPT 5.1. And here you have the same test for Grok 4.1, syncing versus Gemini 3 Pro. And if you want to have the real Gemini 3 Pro here, 127 seconds, this is the video for you. But let's start. So here we are now at the Chinese platform at DeepSeek. You have launching DeepSeek version 3.2. Start now, free access to DeepSeek version 3.2, not the experimental. Now we have the final version and here we are. Okay, let's activate DeepSync. Let's click on this and say, hey, what model are you? No, I don't think we get an answer, but at least that we are in the right place now. So thinking process and then the answer, I am DeepSeek version 3. Okay, expect nothing else. Let's input here my test and let's have a look. Now you see here the reasoning traces that are really transparent. This is not a summarization. This is really, it is, these are the sorts of this one. And I love it that it is transparent. But you see, I accelerated this for 800%. Also, I'm on the original Chinese platform. Why? If you look closer, you will see that this model is an absolute professional reasoner. It goes in every detail, it explores every single path, but my logic test was built that I want to examine, if you want here, the reasoning capabilities, the abstract reasoning capabilities. This model is trying out if you have layer one with 100 paths, all 100 paths. Then it goes to layer two. And layer two, I have 1000 paths. It goes through 1000 paths. And layer three, I have 10,000 paths. And you see, the solution space that I built is simply huge. You cannot solve this puzzle 
if you just, yes, you can solve it, but it takes weeks, you have to find the logical compound, the logical construct. And then you apply on each level the, the insight that you got, how you can solve this. You need a strategy. You cannot go and just with brutal force try to solve it. But this is exactly what's happening here. You see, it is absolutely detailed. There's no loop. It is perfectly going. Straight sequence of all the possible alteration, modification, permutations, everything. But my task is too complex for this. But normal world task would not be that complex. So if you go for a normal benchmark, this will be a beautiful reasoning model. But let's see if we will be able to finish here my model at all. Because you see, the training philosophy is completely different to what you need for this kind of a complexity level that I built. So, seems to be a great reasoning model, but it is missing here the abstract oversight. You see, I'm sorry, I cannot solve this puzzle completely within the time and space constraint. Okay, let's go to the non-thinking. No, DeepSync version 3.2. Also, you see, DeepSync is not activated. This is yet the non-thinking model, 800%. Now, this is a much more plain level. Tries it out. I don't know how much is now here in the machine. I activated a new chat, as you can see. But just very shortly, we found a button press solution, 14 presses. Everything is great. Beautiful. Now, I thought I'd try this on LM Arena, that you can go there. You don't have to log in. You don't have to pay. So here we are now at LM Arena. We are Deep Seek version 3.2 syncing. And here it now looks suddenly better. This is here. Look, we have flags. It understands the button. It says, wait, there's a mirror mode. Mm -hmm. Designed to be solvable. We need to assume a clear interpretation. Alternatively, we can do this. But then the more it analyzes, it comes back into this nitty gritty. You know, I don't need a molecular solution. I need a strategic solution to this topic. So for this particular complexity level, this model is not really suited. Also, it is the thinking and the non-thinking model. But you will see, no, not really. Although I have to say, I did three of those runs on Allen Arena, and you see the best of those three runs. And when you say, why is it the best? You're not going to believe it. It found an eight-step solution, an eight-button press solution, which is excellent, really excellent. But I think this was more just more or less, less just a little bit of luck. But anyway, it found an eight-press solution. Great, but we run into another problem. You will see it immediately. So just wait. It's going here through the logic process. You see, this is a statistical model. You have no idea. It is the best of three, the best of six, the best of 12 runs. We never know beforehand, so you have to try it out and try it out and try it out. And then we could maybe start to have a statistical result. But with three runs, this is not a statistical result. This is just to get a feeling for a model. Yeah? But look at this. It is coming closer. It is on the right path. Yes, it's now trying to narrow in on the solution. Okay. It is now here, yes, on the floor 9. It has found the right augmentation. From floor 9, we need to go to floor 50. We could climb alternatively somewhere else. So this doesn't help. Tries now another strategy. But now it's a little bit meta strategy. And now suddenly it finds a new path. Look, alternatively, we could try to go from 29 to the emergency exit. And this now is, by pure coincidence, pure luck here, the right way to do so you can be lucky with those things and just wait, it will come up soon. Look, the total presses is here. Eight button presses and emergency exit. It found here an eight press solution. And this is a correct, this is a valid solution. And now it goes and it validates and it would be able to validate this because I know I've been doing this now for a year. This was a correct solution, but you're not going to believe what happened next. So in the evaluation run, and it was also trying to find now a, short, a shorter solution. You see, we used eight steps. We had a cutoff. So Deep Sea version 3.2 sinking, five stars. So how is this battle between the Chinese model and the American model? Who is winning? Now, currently it looks that Gemini 3 Pro is the model to beat. 
Gemini has a beautiful consistency, but much faster. Also, I have to say, this DeepSeek version 3.2 syncing is a real powerful model, but for the class of complexity that my test includes, it is not as good as I hoped it would be. But never mind. For everyday task, for normal reasoning task, it can be an excellent logical engine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a little bit of fun, some insight into the model, into the dynamics and the augmentation of models. It would be great to see you in my next video.